What's up guys, Chris from Digital Power Trip here. Today I'm coming at you with a video about RetroPie and Ubuntu. But you know we've already done one of those. What's this one about? This one is about getting it to start automatically when you boot the computer. So when we first did the video, we looked high and low trying to get this to work. I watched some of the famous guys say, oh, it's simple, all you do is put it in the startup. Well, that didn't work. So we have a follower on our YouTube channel by the name of Virgil who asked me the same question and I told him, look dude, I've tried everything. If you can get it to work, awesome. So I get a message today on Facebook, on our Facebook. If you're not following our Facebook? Go follow us on Facebook. I got a message on our Facebook today that said, hey dude, I think I finally got this thing figured out. And a little while later, he's got complete instructions for me and I just checked it out and man, works like a charm. So uh, I'm gonna make a cut and then we'll get right into it. The first thing we're gonna do is click on our search feature, go to user accounts. And underneath user accounts, you're gonna wanna check and make sure automatic login is turned on. After that, you can just close this out. Now we'll jump into RetroPie. Once you're in RetroPie, you want to navigate to your configuration settings. We've customized our screen so ours looks a little different. Then you'll jump down into the RetroPie setup. You'll put in your Ubuntu password. Then you're going to jump down to configuration and tools. Then you're going to go to auto start. You'll hit OK here and that'll turn auto start on. This next part's a little weird, but you hit cancel to back out of this. It'll save your settings. Then you'll just back out and exit. Now the only thing you have left to do is restart the system and make sure that it works. So we're just going to go to quit and restart system. So we've switched over to a regular camera for this reboot sequence since we can't capture it. And you'll notice the screen goes in and out of focus a little bit, but if all goes well, we should be seeing Emulation Station pop up very shortly. Boom! Out of focus, but good. There we go. So, looks like Virgil is dead on in his instruction. Alright, so I think Virgil did it. I mean, the proof's in the pudding. It's awesome. So now all I have to do is reach around the side, turn this sucker on, and it'll just boot up, ready to roll. Um, this just goes to show you what the value of a community is. We've got a great group of followers on our YouTube page, and we really appreciate Virgil for reaching out to us once he figured out the solution to this quite simple problem, really, but nobody else could figure it out. All the big guys saying, throw it in the startup and it'll work. No, it didn't work, but Virgil made it work. All right, guys. Thank you for watching and until next time.